75 or 80 percent of auto accidents or motorcycle accidents happen within a mile of your home you know my first reaction was maybe i need to move Good morning YouTube, this is Cruise Man. Just about to head home once again from a lake here in Carrollton, Texas. Now my day actually, I didn't plan on coming to a lake today. My day started out over here next door at Einstein's. Many of you are familiar that I go there many mornings. Because uh, they open at 5 o'clock. And I was there today about 5 o'clock. Had my laptop. I was doing my work. Not bothering anybody. And a guy comes in. A man who comes in quite regularly. Sits at a table next to me. And I realized that after about 15 or 20 minutes he starts uh, coughing quite a bit sneezing and uh, just kind of sitting over there hacking the whole time and you know I guess that wouldn't have bothered me a couple years ago <laughs> but now with COVID you know even though I've been vaccinated uh, I just, I can't imagine somebody right now going into a public place <coughs> and doing that. So I was a little, uh, I guess paranoid or just uncomfortable sitting there with this guy hacking the whole time. Right, you know, he's five feet away from me. So I just got up and went over to a wake next door and of course I don't want to just sit there and drink coffee and use my you know use their Wi-Fi so I felt kind of uh, obligated to have breakfast even though Don and I are supposed to meet over there tomorrow for breakfast I thought well I'll just go ahead and have a couple eggs anyway that's how I ended up at a wake today and when I go out into the parking lot, and this has happened quite often, when I go out into the parking lot to get on my bike to go to a wake, because I am going to move the bike over to their parking lot just because, you know, it's the right thing to do. The car next to me parked over the line. They cannot park. Why is it people can't park within the lines of a parking lot? So this Porsche SUV is six inches over the line close to my bike. And this exact same thing happened to me yesterday too at Einstein's. And it seems like the farther I park, over toward that little curb the more they cross the line because they they I don't know what it is I don't I just don't know what it is with people I admit. anyway so that's my morning if you're new to this channel uh, please take a second to click the subscribe button because uh, it doesn't cost anything and maybe you like hearing somebody just talk nonsense on a motorcycle but if you're passionate about motorcycles I think you'll get some value out of being part of this community so please subscribe and the topic of today's motor vlog is actually a safety related issue Many of you have been watching several of my videos. You'll notice I'm going down the same road back and forth or basically going home from breakfast. 
and uh, I'm here in Carrollton, Texas. This is Hebron Parkway, and when I go home in the mornings, it's usually like right now it's 8:13 in the morning, so it's uh, you know it's morning traffic. It's not as busy today as it usually is, actually, but it's very easy to be complacent when you're commuting on a motorcycle or in a car and when you're in a familiar setting on a familiar road I think the biggest danger you have to be aware of is your is your complacency that you tend to feel comfortable with this environment and it probably makes you less aware of your surroundings and for those of you who commute by car or motorcycle, you probably know what I'm talking about. For example, if you're on a motorcycle road trip and you're riding your motorcycle on unfamiliar roads in an unfamiliar city, you're very alert because you don't know what's around the next corner. You don't know what to expect. So your senses are much more aware and you're much more alert than you are when you're riding on a familiar road. And complacency is one of those things that you have to really be aware of and never let your guard down just because you're on a road that you're familiar with. And this is especially true here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area because we have so much construction all the time on these roads and our roads are in very bad condition. Now, I don't know what it's like where you live, but we have lots of potholes, we have lots of uh, construction and issues like that, so we, you can't really get complacent here. You have to always be on guard. Many of you have probably heard the statistic that, and I can't remember what the percentage is, but it's a high percentage of accidents happen within one mile of your house. I remember years ago I heard that and they said that, you know, I think it's like 75 or 80 percent of auto accidents or motorcycle accidents happen within a mile of your home. You know, my first reaction was maybe I need to move. But the reason for that is It, you know, you get complacent. You're familiar with the neighborhood. You're familiar with the roads near your home. So you're just not paying attention like you do when you're in an unfamiliar area. I think that's the reason. So I'd look forward to your comments. What do you think about this? I do things uh, to try to keep myself from becoming complacent. But, you know, I'm guilty of it. I'm sure I'm more comfortable riding in these neighborhoods, in these, on this street, for example. So the key is when you're riding your motorcycle in your own neighborhood or if you're commuting back and forth to work in an area that you feel familiar with, just always uh, be aware, always stay alert. Remember, things can change anywhere you ride at any time. And that's why I always say, ride often, ride comfortable, but ride safe. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Motor Vlog.